exactly the best way to win big brother niger season six is <laughs> get disqualified okay 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 scratch that scratch that i do not think a lot of us are actually ready to have that conversation so i'm just gonna scratch that one mm -hmm, and save it for another frankly speaking with glory elijah's video okay meanwhile on this video i'm going to be giving you guys two awesome fantastic amazing tips on how to win big brother ninja season six inside the house okay mind you i said inside the house guys these tips i'm going to be giving to you are inside us tips and the reason why i'm going to be sharing these tips on this video is because i think for the past three days now i've been coming across a lot of big brother ninja season six audition videos guys it's gonna be bloody and to be honest there are some people whom i have spotted already that i feel that these individuals have great potentials of being amazing entertainers if given the chance to partake um on this season six of big brother ninja and guys i am seriously rooting for one or two persons already not like i'm rooting for them like being a fan already no but um in that two minute video that they put out there on youtube i just saw a lot of potential i saw people who are going to be very very engaging people are people who are going to be very very fun to watch and already i'm getting excited and i feel like Hmm, these people might end up going into the house and making the same mistakes that almost all the Big Brother Ninja housemates of from season two, three, and four and five have made. So in order for these people not to make the same mistakes, this is the reason why I am making this video to help them, to give them some sort of guidance on how to utilize their time and the platform if given that opportunity to get into the house. So if you're ready to learn, mm -hmm, please watch till the end of this video and don't skip one bit. I have to quickly go and put on my Professor Glory's glasses because I feel like we're about to go into a deep session of learning. Okay guys, now this is what it is, yeah? Before I start my explanation proper, I need us to actually understand that the winning I am referring to in this context is entirely different. I'm not referring to winning the 90 millionaire for the, um, as the which is the cash prize for the Big Brother Ninja season six. I am actually talking about winning that means selling yourself and winning that involves having the right connect, the right network inside the house. Now, a lot of housemates, or let me say a lot of contestants, they make that mistake of going onto the show and then they are so competitive, they are so driven by the passion to win or by the need to win to the point that they are willing to do whatever it takes, even if it means going all out to negatively selling themselves or even you know being extremely toxic being extremely negative to the rest of the other housemates inside the house disregarding the fact that whoever you are displaying all those your madness for it's not just ordinary people you know you're not just thinking of your viewing audience as just basic people i have done a video before talking about the real definition of big brother and i remember telling you guys that big brother is not only the voice that you hear on the show big brother is also Ebuka. big brother is also the viewing audience big brother is also the voting audience big brother also includes all the brands companies corporations private individuals who are looking forward to doing business with you know potential amazing housemates from the show so the show is that huge the platform is that big now you as an individual that's going onto the show that has the mindset of winning winning that money winning that cash prize should not be the only goal that you are going to be focused on there's actually a lot more that you could even win without you even knowing it now winning also means selling yourself what does selling yourself mean selling yourself means showcasing your talent showcasing your creativity showcasing every single thing that shows and portrays or projects your strengths and your weakness because hey guys we as human beings we're not just built to be so strong 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 there's that part of us that's actually very very weak and humane that is what make us uh, makes us complete humans okay because nobody is perfect anyways um so you having that ability to showcase all of these things i have mentioned and also showing your human 
relationship, how you are able to build an intrapersonal relationship with the rest of the housemates inside the house, how you are able to salvage situations, to come up with the best solutions. Guys, trust me, you never know who is watching. There are so many brands out there that are watching you inside Biggie's house because they want to see what you can do in extreme circumstances. How can you, um, how can you make the most out of such situations? How can you represent yourself? How can you represent Big Brother Nigeria as an organization? How can you carry yourself at the end of the day? How can you stand without buckling under pressure? These are some of the things, or even most of the things, that most people are looking out for, aside the entertainment factor. Of course, the show is you know, mostly all about entertainment, but most of the time, these are things that businesses are looking out for, because at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation for everybody, yeah? Um, the organizers of the show, they are going to cash out big, the housemates, they are going to become very, very popular, at least for a duration of one year or nine months and then brands who are very very hungry and thirsty for the next big thing you know in the popularity scene the celebrity scene they'll be looking out for the most popular housemate with the biggest and most loyal fan base to turn into their brand ambassador so if you do not sell yourself tell me how do you even intend to win because guys let's be realistic 20 to 25 housemates goes into Biggie's mansion for every season. At the end of the day, we all know for a fact that it is only one person that's going to bag the winning prize. So you yourself, in fact, no single housemate knows how the show is going to start and how the show is going to end. The only thing they can actually control half the time are some of the crazy things they do, you know, for entertainment, for the audience inside their house. Any other thing is beyond their control. So what can you control? You can actually control the content you put out there. You can control um, the, the, the personality that you put out there. You can control how much you want to project of yourself not just as an individual now as well but also as a brand because sweetheart when you come out of that house you're going to be coming out whether you did well or whether you did poorly you're going to be coming out as a hot cake everybody's going to want to be associated with you but guess what it is not all the housemates that all brands will want to be associated with they will want to be associated with those housemates that strongly projected their personalities and strongly projected what they stand for what are you feeling now the second way to win big brother Nigeria season six is utilizing that opportunity to make the right connections in the house this is one mistake that a lot of these ex bb ninja housemates have made now what people forget is you are going into the house that's going to serve as um, home to probably 20 to 25 people for the next three months two to three months you do not know any of these people you probably might have stumbled on their profiles on social media or even on google but the truth is you have no idea whatsoever who they are they as well do not know who you are so when you go into a place like that where you have people from different walks of lives how do you carry yourself you do not carry yourself with so much pride and ego oh i am this i am the best thing that happened before i get your bread no sis <laughs> you do not carry yourself that way because the fact is each of these individuals they come with their own circle they come with their own connect they come with their own wealth of networks that they've been able to build over time some of them they come with so much affluence you have no idea you see that next big step in your career some of the housemates that you're going to encounter inside Biggie's house they hold the key to you getting to that place you're looking for i'm going to use um kid wire as an example from um season five big brother ninja erica was very very strategic she was very very strategic and somehow he worked for her but some of the other housemates they did not really utilize the opportunity properly instead they were creating so much animosity towards this young man guys trust me if i hear say kid wire papa na terry wire and i did inside that house ha nah i'm gonna be very nice <laughs> But guys, to be realistic, yeah, it's not about you going in there and becoming a gold digger or anything like that. No, it's about you paying attention to the rest of the housemates. Try not to get too lost in the game because the truth is we cannot help it sometimes as, as humans, you know, when we are being very, very competitive and 
at the end of the day, we are so focused on winning the price that we forget every other thing that surrounds the price. Sometimes it's not just about the price. Sometimes it's all inclusive about everything that comes with the price. So as a BB Ninja housemate that's inside the mansion, it is your sole responsibility, you know, to be focused on the price and to also be focused on the rest of the housemates. When I say be focused on them, try to pay attention to conversations. Try to listen to the kind of things they talk about. Try to listen to the kind of people they know. Ask questions. You know, when you guys are having your fun times, when you are having conversations, when you are gisting, ask intelligent questions like, oh, have you been to this place? Oh, do you know this person? Oh, I saw this thing. Be very, very skillful about it. That way, you will start to find out which housemate knows which person. And by the time you start finding out that, oh, in this industry, this housemate knows this person. In that industry, this housemate knows that person. You need to start building a connection with them. You need to start networking strongly with them. You need to start creating a bond with them. Because the truth is, at the end of the show, once the show ends, you are coming back into that bloody reality, especially in this Nigeria, that you left and went into a fantasy land for three months. So when you come out, you don't want to start struggling. You don't want to start, you know, scratching the ground again when you already had all that opportunity inside the house. So, sweetheart, as I said from the beginning of this video, winning Baby Ninja Season 6 is not about being disqualified because that is becoming a new tradition now. I'm going to have that conversation in another video entirely. I don't want to have that conversation over here. But in my own understanding as one who has actually watched this show for four seasons as one who has actually studied the mannerisms the characteristics of the show itself of the game itself and of the housemates themselves i feel like i am in the right position to actually give you guys these tips on how to win big brother Ninja season six so if you um, are a potential housemate I hope these two tips are going to be very very helpful to you and for those of you my amazing FSWG viewers and um, what do you think about the things I have said if you have your own thoughts about this you know how we do it over here please go ahead and drop it all down in the comment section below I look forward to reading your thoughts and I'll see you guys in another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory have an amazing amazing day bye